Hello Mr Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. Today I have another giveaway for you in the tier 8 Czech premium tank destroyer. I can't pronounce the name so I'm just going to call it the TVP100 tank destroyer. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is leave a comment with exclamation mark duck followed by your gamer tag and the console you play on. The draw will end on the 17th of September, at which point I will respond to the comment of the person who has won and leave a updated note in the description of the video to let you know who the winner is. So again, all you need to do to enter is leave a comment with exclamation mark duck followed by your gamer tag and which console you play on. That's enough of me rambling on. Let's get on to the replays. I have two videos for you today in this tank so you can see how it performs. Okay, so on to the replays. So both replays I've got for you today, I am bottom tier. The first one we are here on Rasserine. Uh, there is an enemy uh, fun police in the game and initially I'm gonna push over to sort of the left-hand side of the map in the almost tank destroyer spot to see if I can get any early damage in. Now this tank is it's basically a very stealthy tank destroyer. Um, you've got 60 degrees of gun depression. You've got on the uh, standard uh, AP rounds, you've got some decent penetration of 270, 330 on the heat shells, um, both of which have quite poor shell velocity. So you really need to uh, pre-aim your shots uh, with this tank, uh, put a bit of lead on if, if, if enemy tank is traveling at distance. And the unique feature of this tank, it actually has the HE round, it has HEP rounds, which basically have 100 penetration on the HE round uh, for 420 alpha. So if you are fighting those sort of lightly armoured targets and you're able to use those HEP rounds, it can really boost your damage uh, because the DPM on this tank is really nice. Um, and if you're able to you know, get those shots off for 420 um, you know, HE penning them with 100 HEP rounds, yeah, you, your damage can be boosted quite nicely and you'll, you'll see that in the uh, second replay. I actually think after playing this in the tank, I'm going to start loading a few more of the rounds uh, than what I have already. So initially, you can see this fun police is blind firing me um, and he is going to be a nuisance of me this game, uh, as we will find out. Now, to be honest, I think I should leave already because clearly this side is lost. We don't really have anyone here at all. I was just kind of waiting, just wanted to get one more shot in. But this fun police, you see, is still blind firing me. Um, I'm hoping he's thinking that I've already gone because he's not hit me with the last three shots. Um, got very, very close though. Uh, but yeah, it's not looking in a good position. All of our team's really gone across to the uh, castle. And I know there's about four at least probably four tanks this side um, so I'm going to get out of there now and I'm just going to give it up while I can and get across to the castle and I have to try and defend the base from there because I know they're going to push across at some point um, if the, our friendly medium tank stays there I'll try to get myself into a position to cover them uh, because like I say I'm not going to be able to survive if I get full sent by their tier 10 Morats because they're going to make quick work of like, this tank over there so we're going to try and get out of here. I need to try and hopefully you know, go down slow enough so I don't lose any on the full damage here. Don't want to go down there too quick and uh, throw my tank away because that would be a bit embarrassing. Um, and as you see, I'm just trying to get to this castle. It is a fairly close game at this point. I know there's going to be tanks. Well, I, I, sh I strongly suspect there's going to be tanks pushing across towards our base at any moment because I know those tanks were there. And you know, the second they start not spotting anything, they're going to start to, to, you know, to push across. I'm going to see if I can get a shot into this heavy tank here. He pops around and I get a shot and then I get the kill. And now I need to try and get myself you know, unlit and get back into cover. Um, and I'm just going to hang around this position just to see if the enemy uh, do push the base. And they do push the base here. So now I've got a chance. Like I say, this is where the shell velocity is not great and there we go we get blind fired by that fun police again taking away almost all of my hit points there um so yeah he is you know being a bit of a nuisance to us there to be honest with you but i'm gonna stay here because i need to try and kill 
these tanks. I need to get damage into these tanks, uh, which are in a base. I'm really the only person who can got shots at them right now. Um, so I get one into this medium. Hopefully I should be able to finish this medium off. Um, we do manage to pick up one kill there, picking up a thousand damage. Try and get one into the Murat, but unfortunately miss. You see the shell velocity is not great in this tank. But I lead that shot and we do get one. And you see how far you do actually have to lead the shot with these uh, AP rounds. I think the shell velocity is only like 897. Um, and then on the, on the heat rounds it's 795. You've actually got 900 shell velocity on your um, HE rounds. So we're going to get into a different position. I don't want to say where I was, especially when that fun police was um, shooting at us earlier. And it looks like our friendly medium tank is going to go and light the cap. And I want to try and be in the position to, if I can, get shots in and maybe get the reset. Uh, so any Murat gets lit up. Unfortunately, I don't actually have uh, shots. He's got into cover. Uh, but he's either got off the cap or someone's got a reset in there. So at least we're not under as much pressure with the... Uh, cap re reset now so I'm going to try and push down into the sort of corner of the map to see if I can find myself better shots see if I can maybe get shots into this Valor on my uh, right hand side um, and yeah just try and get more out of this game so I've got two kills but I haven't really done a lot so far in this game it's been a little bit awkward for me try and blind fire the Turan there uh, maybe that's a target I can use the uh, Hep rounds for but at this point I don't know he's going to get detected again Try and leave one in some rat. We hit it. Unfortunately, we don't penetrate it. We do um, damage his tracks. And now we're going to try and get a couple shots into the lane. We get one shot in there. We do get lit, so we need to get into the corner so we're safe. Now that Valor's dead, we can, can try and use this position. Uh, we're going to get a blind fire shot, kill that enemy Lorraine, take away that threat. You know, it's starting to come under a bit more control this game for us. It's still relatively close, but you know, these tanks sort of stuck in the cap now are kind of. Um, yeah, just, just in the middle, just, just getting farmed by our, our friendly team. One of the rats I can see is trying to leave. I'm going to try and get some shots into this one and help our uh, friend out in the bottom. Should be able to get the next one in here, but unfortunately, you'll see, there's a gun depression problem. So I just have to back up and I get another shot in. And now we're going to try and get some of this rat before he escapes. Unfortunately, we missed that shot. But you can see how quickly this tank does reload, though. You have got fantastic DPM for your 250 Alpha. Um, get one more shot in now and now he you know we're going to try and blind fire this shot and we get a really nice kill shot on that Murat there we led that one really well got the blind fire in and picked up our fourth kill of the game put us on to 2700 uh, damage with two enemy tanks remaining enemy Fosh and the enemy fun police who we would really like to um, you know get get the kill on um, to get a bit of revenge for uh, uh, late you know from early on into this game so we're going to try and get over there as quickly as we can we suspect they're going to be in there you know they're either going to be in their base area near the flag or maybe they push around to sort of the bottom side of the castle we'll find out we're just going to try and get over there as fast as we possibly can you know to see if we can get ahead of our team to try and you know even if we can't get a kill but we spot them first we can pick up some assistance we haven't had a lot of assistance in this game and it is potential for us to get the top gun, but you never know. Also, got, I'm only on 460 hit points, so I do have to be slightly careful. If I get caught out by that Fosh, I'm going to be uh, in a little bit of trouble. But I'm not spotting them here. You know, I'm thinking they could still be in their base. If not, I've got a kind of a hunch that maybe they're actually you know, in the bottom side of the castle now. Maybe they've retreated uh, back to that side. Uh, would kind of make sense. Uh, but I'm just going to go around and see what we spot. Um, let's see if we can get any uh, more damage out of this game. So we're coming around here. We're not spotting anything. So now I'm thinking, yeah, they must be in the sort of the, the side of the castle. So I'm going to push over towards the castle um, and just yeah, just to see what we can spot. We do spot this enemy frost. We get a nice snapshot on the move there. We're just going to full send to try and get underneath this ridge. We're just snapping these shots in. He's not focused us at, at us at the moment. I want to just get as close as we can because once this tank's dead. I want to be there to kill that enemy fun police who's probably on the other side of this ridge. Now I do actually get the snapshot getting the kill. The uh, fun police hits us again. We swap to these HG rounds. We know he's close. We know he's very, very close. He's probably on this other side of the ridge. I want to see if I can pen him with his HEP rounds. There we go. We do spot him. We get a nice pen in there. And yeah, thankfully he just tries to blind for us again but misses. He really wants us, this guy. We get the next shot in. You see how quick more, you know, how your damage boosts so quickly with those hep rounds. You know, when you're penning them for 
420 without that four second reload it really boosts your damage and that brings us then to replay number one uh, but we've got two more to come so let's just see how we did we get six kills 4,000 damage 400 assistance yeah we pick up the ace tanker there um, in the bottom tier again and moving on to the final replay of the video okay so here we are for the final replay in Nelberg again we are bottom tier there is two enemy fun police and one enemy light tank now initially we want to push to the sort of right hand side of the map so I want to be in a position where we're able to utilize the good camo of the tank um, and yeah I want to go to the bit where I've got the best chance of doing so so I am going to push to the right hand side you know off the back and then see if we can you know try and deal some damage on quite often you get some tanks sort of in like the the k8 area um and we see if we can get any shots into those tanks so yeah we push across i see a few of our teammates have already gone this way uh we've got our enemy uh, light tank here as well there but quite early doors and then Murat, Murat gets spotted and i really want to punish this tank before we gets into the corner if it gets into the corner it can be a bit awkward to deal with so we do need the shot and pen our first shot a um, bit of some damage into this rat but we get detected for it and we need to try and get out of out of dodge uh, the shot just comes past us and misses us thankfully but good job to our team there because they kill the enemy Murat, and that really helps us out because he's no longer in the corner and that would have denied us vision if he did get there so now we're going to try and push across and because that Murat's dead and it looks like it's just this enemy tiger here and there's been no sign of the light tank, I'm going to push across to this sort of corner where our tanks are at the moment, you can see in front of us, because there I'm going to get better side shots and if we're able to take out that tiger from that location, I can push across to where that tiger is and from there you'll end up spotting potentially uh, tanks in the, which are in the middle of the map around that hill area. So. At this point, I think, you know what, I think this Tiger 2 might have actually ran. Because um, I'm not getting detected, I'm not getting spotted, and I'm just going to go for it now and take this position early. Because if I do, I might spot something and catch someone in the open. And that's exactly what happens. We spot this enemy chieftain, and now we're getting the rewards for that push. Because we're getting all the assistance off of that chieftain. Um, he's caught out in no man's land, and yeah, he's, he's in an awkward situation. And then we spot this enemy conqueror as well. We get one shot into him there. I'm hoping he just keeps retreating up to this hill because then we're going to have easy farms. It looks like that's what he's going to do. So we actually swap to our hep rounds here because we can pen this engine deck. You see straight away 420, second shot 374, and then we're able to get the kill blind. And that's how quickly the damage can change when you're, you actually are penning those hep rounds. You know, when you get the right opportunity to do so. Uh, so that's why I think I probably do need to take a few more of those rounds because it really boosts your uh, damage. Enemy fun please get spotted. We get the finishing shot and get the kill. Uh, now we're going to try and finish off this two shot uh, chieftain. We get one shot in. Looking for the final uh, kill. We get taken out by our friendly dragon. And we're just going to keep this push going. Um, you know, we did well because we pushed quite early because we got the opportunity to push quite early. Um, and we caught a few tanks out. We're now I want to keep this going and keep them in a bad position because we have fantastic camo rating and I'm hoping I can try and get shots into these tanks you know, who are in the, fighting on the hill, putting them in a real awkward situation. Enemy conquerors spotted there. I'm thinking, you know what, I can probably get shots into this tank now. Uh, we get one in there. We can try and get another one in um, and he does actually just get you know, out into cover. So it was a Carnarvon Action X, not a conqueror there. There is still an E4 on the left unless he's got taken out in the middle. Um, but there's an enemy S barn up the top, which I want to try and deal with because I do have help from a friendly teammate. Um, obviously, I've got to be a little bit careful. You know, the S barn could potentially one shot us here, but I do have help from teammates, so I'm just going to try and go in. This enemy fun police is not looking at us. We're going to be able to get a nice shot into him there. We do get one in, and now we're going to try and go round onto this uh, S barn. Got to be careful. Try and snap that shot in. He's not looking at us, but I'm going to get behind this ridge here because now. You know, if he, if he tries to push us, we can do a little sort of ring around the roses. Uh, I really want him to shoot. The second he shoots, I'm just going to pounce because I know I'll be able to kill him before he reloads again. Um, so I'm just hoping he's just going to pull this trigger because then I, I know I'll get some more damage out of this game. Uh, not, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I get a cheeky shot in there while he's looking the other way. 
And now he's backing up. I'm going to go for this shot here. I'm just going to risk it. And we get that shot in because I wanted to get, you know, have as much damage as I can. I want, needed to kill this tank if I got any chance of getting to the rest of the damage, which is two enemy tanks remaining. Had a really, you know, decent start to this game. You know, got 3,000 damage, three kills, 2,600 assistance. Um, got some nice pens in there with our HE rounds. But there's only two tanks remaining. It's an enemy light tank and an enemy um, S barn, I believe. So I probably should actually swap to this one remaining head round, which I do have, because again, I might be able to you know, boost our damage, you know, slightly if we're able to pen, pen, pen that shot. Um, it looks like they pushed all the way around to the bottom of the town. And at this point, I'm thinking, oh, I don't really know if I'm going to get there and get an opportunity, um, but I'm going to at least try. So we come round, and this S-Bahn is in the middle. I'm thinking, actually, I might be able to get a nice shot in it and so into the light tank. But then the S-Bahn comes around. He's an easier target. I'm going to try and get a shot in there. We do land one. Hopefully, we can get another one in. Uh, but we just get taken out by our friendly fun place before we're able to get that shot in. Because obviously, the shell velocity is pretty poor on this tank. And it's just the enemy light tank left, who is full health. And we're just going to try and go in there. We're full health. We just want to get there. Before we get taken out, just get one last pen. If we can pen this head round, it'd be really nice. So as we come around this corner, we go around. We're going to try and get the shot in. And we do land it, penning it for 411. Boosting our damage there and bring this an end to the replay. So let's just see how we got on. We got three kills, 3,800 damage, uh, 2,700 assistance. And yeah, to get in the ace tanker. So thank you so much for your support. Remember, the giveaway ends on the 17th um, of this month. All you need to do to enter is leave a comment with exclamation mark duck, followed by your gaming tag and console. So happy tanking. Enemy in sight. Hadouken!